I don't normally fold under peer pressure, but when it comes from my kids and them saying, pretty please, mom, it's far more likely to happen. For those of you who don't know, I have two children, a little boy who is two and a girl who just turned five this week. So when I saw these benches at an auction, I knew we had to have them. Both of these benches have obviously lived a lot of their lives outdoors. The wood is quite weathered and all of the metal is quite rusted and we'll have to be dealing with each of those components separately as we restore these pieces and get them back to a safe place for my children to use. I'm gonna start out by completely disassembling this piece. I've already tried with my little electric screwdriver. Now some of these are pretty rusted, so it's gonna take a little bit extra effort to get them out without stripping out the screws and getting them stuck. Like this one. I won't be reusing them. I'll have to purchase new ones because these are kind of gross. I'm going to start out this second bench by getting it good and clean with some cleaner and some wire brushes that I'm going to use to remove as much rust and flaking paint as I possibly can. I'm going to go back through later and sand as well, but to start with, this is just going to make the job a little bit faster. I gave the same wire brush cleaning method to the other bench as well before grabbing one of the boards and heading to my local hardware store. My hope was that I could avoid all the sanding of the old boards and just purchase new ones. But to my dismay, the hardware store did not have this same sized board, so I decided it'd be better to refinish them than to try to make a different size fit in the grooves of the bench and this way, it was just ensured that everything would fit perfectly. Now, my first round of sanding was done with an 80 grit sandpaper, which is a pretty rough texture and really helped me get that top layer off really fast. But to smooth everything out before I moved on to staining my piece, I moved to a 150 grit sandpaper and that just helped get everything nice and smooth. Now, if you watched my recent Hutch Top remake video, you've already seen me use this waterproofing stain and sealer on the top of that. It's something I picked up out of the Miss Tint pile at my local Home Depot for $2 and it turned out really great on the last piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and reuse it on this one as well. It's labeled as chocolate, but since it was in the Miss Tint, I'm not sure if that's exactly the color or not. This product is made for decks, so it's gonna be great for waterproofing and sealing this piece for the outdoors. The label says to give it two coats, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm 
I am not going to be attempting to remove all the paint and go back down to raw metal on this piece. That would simply be impractical for what I am attempting. So I'm just getting everything nice and smooth so that when I spray the coming paint over top of it, it gives me a smooth coat. All of the metal parts of my benches are getting this primer that is made to be used on heavily rusted metal. Now, neither of these are heavily rusted, but they do have rust in areas, so I'm going to go ahead and prime them with this. And at this point, my children caught me out in the yard with their disassembled and repainted benches, and they were quite disappointed in me. So we better get on top of getting these benches repainted and put back together before my kids get mad at me. I let my daughter pick out the colors for her bench and she chose this dusty blue for the main color and pink for the flowers. Now that I have all the pieces finished, I brought the bench inside to reassemble. One, because it was really hot, and two, I knew if I did, my husband would help me. I now have two beautiful little kid benches and two happy campers. My children absolutely love their new benches. I am so pleased that I was able to finish a project for them. It's always more fun when you get to do a piece for somebody that you love. If you enjoyed this project, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought down in the comments. If you're interested in watching that Hutch Top remake that I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to leave a card up at the top where you can click right now and go ahead and go there. I'll have another flip for you guys ready next week and I hope to see you there. Until then, I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Goodbye for now.